what's up guys fishing the california coast today we're going to be fishing for big lingcod big capazone and maybe some big rockfish we're going to be throwing big swim baits most of the time we got eight inch big hammer we got the 7.8 inch kitex and i think we got like a 6.8 inch kitex as well and then we also got this no they're not squid they're actually octopus big red octopus i think the lingcod are going to love these things i'm not sure it's worth a shot we're going to try them out really excited to be out here you know it's better than staying at home better than bass fishing so yeah stay tuned and we're gonna try and get on him fish or he thinks he's in a fish we'll find out here pretty shortly oh, yeah. i don't know how he's gonna land this one but we're gonna try it seems to be a good fish not quite sure or he's just fighting his weight oh, I got a perch, dude. oh it's a perch rainbow perch oh yeah nice rainbow perch that's a really nice rainbow perch, one of the best eating fish out here. Perch. Beautiful fish. Pretty good teeth on them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a good rainbow perch. I'm so excited to be out here right now. We're fishing for lingcod, we're fishing for rockfish. Um, this is actually a continuation of a little series we're doing. Um, if you guys didn't check out our last video, I'll drop a link below or I'll drop a link up above here. But make sure you guys check out our last video. We caught the cabazone, we caught some lingcod, we caught kelp greenling. Um, so far in the day right now we have a perch. Um, and I wanted to show you guys actually what I'm gonna be throwing and why I'm actually so excited to fish right now. I got two setups. So I'm actually throwing, um, on my jig rod, this is my my uh, set. This is a 765 uh, Dobbins. Um, I am throwing. This is a 12 aught owner beast hook. It's weedless, so this is perfect as we're fishing in these rocks. It won't ever get snagged up. And I just got a little uh, three quarter ounce tungsten, so I can get down there deeper in the water, and it's pegged. And this is a 7.8 Chartreuse Shad Kitek. Huge bait. I'm hoping I can maybe catch a giant link cod in this. You, it's tough to fish giant link cod from the shore, but you never know. You might catch a big one. Last week, Jake actually hooked up to like a 10 or 15 pounder. Um, and then my other rod is actually my frog rod, which is a 735 Dobbins. Um, both of these are five power rods. Um, this is a 10 aught uh, owner flashy swimmer. Once again, weedless, a little bit of flash, a little bit different presentation. This is a 6.8 Chartreuse Kitek. Um, so really excited to get out here to throw this bass gear. I'm hoping that I can catch some really big fish today. It was a lot of fun last time. I caught uh, a cabazone, really nice fish. Uh, we might do a little bit of a catch and cook today, so stay tuned. We got some really good film for you. We're gonna get some really good drone shots. Uh, so really, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> he was reeling that fish in and the, the handle literally just snapped off mid reel. You guys probably didn't see it because I didn't have this camera running. Um, hopefully we can see it on Devin's head mount. I'm not sure until we get home, but at the handle just like literally snapped completely off um good thing we have a couple extra rods here so devin can get back in some fish but bummer devin's really mad guys he's salty we're it it, it fits though we're out here in the pacific ocean it's salty he's salty we're all a little salty you know i was salty this morning that he forgot the tackle back at home now he's salty that he broke his reel nice caught, a, caught a perch though nice so that's cool but bye bye to that pole all righty guys jake just caught this rainbow is it a surf perch or just rainbow sea perch? perch? Rainbow sea perch. Really big fish. We've caught them before. They're really good eating fish. So we're going to, you know, there must be a big school down there. So we're going to try and get as many as we can because best fish and chips in the world right here. Kelp Greenling. Yeah. Let me grab the other camera real quick. I swear Jake's the master. He always catches so many fish. But got a kelp greenling. I'll hook him on the 12 aught beast hook. I'll just, just screw, mouth I'll screw lock right in his mouth. <laughs> That's like a it's like a 16 inch kelp greenling. Yeah. Does it keep? What do you got to keep for those? 12. 12? Yeah. We're letting these fish bleed in this little pool right here. Um, they're just going to bleed out. They'll die. And the meat's a lot better that way. And then we'll just throw it in the uh, cooler. So Jake's just using a little bit of tiny squid, guys. I mean, he's just using that right there. I mean, 
little tiny pieces and then we're using a uh, miracle thread wrap and we're wrapping that uh, thread wrap around the hook. Okay guys, we're going to our next spot. We weren't catching too many fish here. Actually, that's not true. Jake was catching fish. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice to be out of that wind. It's like 40 mile an hour wind. Or am I being a baby? Am I being a baby? You're being a baby. It's pretty windy. But we're going Puppy to the monkey baby, dude. <laughs> we're going to our next spot. We're gonna hopefully catch some link cod or some cabazone because we caught kelp greenling here and we also caught, um, uh, what were they, sun surf perch? We caught rainbow called? surf perch, but they got too windy. A lot of these rivers are blowing just fresh water in and we got a waterfall right over there. So I think the fish pushed out a little further than they normally are, but hopefully this new spot, it's not as bad and we can get on them. Guys, walking down to the new spot, we found it. Nice little cove, pretty protected. And there's three coastal blacktails. There they go. All right guys, so it's been a good day so far, besides me breaking my pole, but other than that, we've got on a couple good fish. No lean cods or capazone yet, but those are soon to come. I think Dustin's gonna be throwing mainly the Kitek or maybe that eight inch big hammer. So hopefully he can work up a lean cod on his bass rod, because that'd be just, that'd just be unbelievable. That'd be awesome. And I think me and Jake are gonna stick with the bait for now. We normally just use the bait to like find the fish, so we're gonna try and see if we can catch a couple link cod, a couple capazone. All right guys, I'm hoping this is gonna be swim bait heaven. We got calmer water, a lot of rocks, a lot of big chunk rock. We still have current moving in. I'm out of the wind so I can cast a little bit farther. It's been tough to cast these baits out here directly in the wind, even with two ounce weights. Um, Devin said he's been getting bites. This spot's pretty promising. Hopefully we catch some fish right now. All righty guys, fish and bait. Got a red rock crab. Thought it was a big fish. It's not. I'm keeping it right. Oh, monster catch. Is that catty? No, it's greenland. Not a keeper. See? Cool patterns on them. Okay guys, well that spot was a bust. All that excitement, we were so excited to fish this spot because it looks so juicy, but, but we didn't catch any fish. Why didn't we catch any fish, guys? Because Dustin picked the spot. Uh, apparently because I picked the spot, why we didn't catch any fish. No, I because we got too much fresh water mixing with salt water, and I don't know if the fish are pushed out. I don't know if you can see it, if Dustin shines you right out there, we got a big mud line from all the fresh, dirty water coming from all the rivers around here, like the Gualala. And I think a little lower is the Russian, so. Fresh water mixing with salt water, so who knows? We're gonna uh, go back to the truck, go drive to our old spot, see if we can rekindle any love over there. Okay guys, back at the spot again, back at the good spot. It's super windy, it's really windy. It's so windy that I'm gonna go in the car and sit down because I don't want to fish because the swim bait bite is terrible. But I, I, we'll see, we'll see. I, I'm not gonna lose hope yet. Hopefully gonna catch a fish on the swim bait. Jake, I know, is gonna catch fish on the squid because the guy's an animal. I don't know how he catches so many fish. He's just like a guru. Like, if Jake's name could be Jake the Fishing Guru, he should make a YouTube channel. You think he should make a channel, Jake the Fishing Guru? Tell us. Even though not many people watch this video, our 22 subscribers, Please tell us. I'm mostly filming right now because we've got super high winds and throwing the swim baits a little bit tough with these high winds trying to get it to go out there. So both these guys are throwing bait. My rods are a little bit light to be tossing big weights out there. So I'm going to film for a bit and then we'll probably trade off with the rods here in a little bit and start catching fish. Rock, like, let me have it. There you go. 
Keeper cab. Look, one of our lines. Look, hooking line, dude, right there. One of ours. It's probably the one I just broke off. Well, that's Listen. a good cab. Yeah. First cab of the day, caught on bait. Kind of choked it. Dustin actually, I believe, just broke off into this fish. So. That's exactly. Look at that. This just got lined. That's the exact fish I just broke off on. That's crazy. At least we caught the fish I broke off on. What's up, guys? That's going to be the end of the video. We caught one cabazone and a couple perch. Um, we had a really good time. We didn't get on any link cod. But next weekend, we're going to be going out to the same spots, throwing the big swim baits for the big link cod. Hopefully, we can get them this time. Alrighty, stay tuned.